hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it is your first time seeing my face my name is deborah and i'm a youtuber based in nigeria and i also school in delta state nigeria i create lifestyle content educational content vlogs and all that good stuff if there's something you enjoy please do not forget to subscribe before leaving this video and if you are my returning subscriber <laughs> thank you so much for coming back i love you so much and i appreciate you in today's video i'm going to be talking about how to study for long hours without getting tired yes <laughs> i'm bringing in good good practical tips for my students here as usual take your pen and notepad and let's go on this ride together I know you told your friend you're not okay. before i start i need to tell you something when it comes to studying the number of hours you study does not matter what matter is the quality of study you put in it doesn't matter if you study for 12 hours if you do not understand anything you're studying it's a waste of time all right with that said with that being said let's get right into this video i'll be giving you six practical steps on how to study for long hours without getting tired step one prioritize your schedule that is study difficult topic early in the day this means that you should study difficult paper in the morning while your energy level is very high yes most people will say no 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 i cannot do that too but let me advise you if you are beginning to study if you want to study i'll say that you start with the most difficult ones because at that point you are not tired okay and you are most productive but if this method does not work for you please start with what works for you but let me tell you if you take up difficult tasks early in the day it will be easier for you to continue to rest in the evening because even if you are tired in the evening you will still want to continue because you know that what you'll be studying is simpler right on the contrary if you pick up easy stuff during the day you may likely give up later to rest evening when your energy level has reduced two so, steal a nap yeah steal a nap i said it if you can't get it in the legit way please steal it though nap is necessary Rain will definitely work better after taking a nap and please when taking a nap be very cautious so that you will not oversleep yourself tips in taking effective nap time yourself like 30 to 40 minutes a day don't sleep more than this because you might fall into a deep sleep and you don't want that and try to sleep the same time every single day so that way it becomes a routine step three eat to maintain energy level you should eat meal that release glucose slowly into the bloodstream avoid food that will make your energy level to rise very fast and give you um fatigue and jazziness okay please if you know you have exam to to study for you need to monitor the amount of food you eat because some foods have very very bad bad um bad effects in our body so please watch the type of food you eat if you really want to study for long hours step four conserve your mental energy it's very important not to decrease your energy by allowing your mind to wander thinking about things that does not matter how many of you uh have experienced this while you are reading you are reading and all of a sudden you are thinking about something you're thinking about something that happened three weeks ago like why did that get look at me like that why did that boy match me that way you understand your mind will just be going going where going going to places that you don't even know try as much as possible to control your thought five take regular breaks you should take break for two reasons one it makes you relax and increases your concentration if you are always with it you should know that your concentration begins to drop after 15 minutes or so yeah you can't be sitting there in one place for 15 minutes and be reading hello who are you sitting you will lose focus you can't tell me that you want to read for two hours straight and you're sitting there in one place for two hours without losing focus you will lose focus so try to take breaks regular breaks so it's advisable to take five to ten breaks five to ten minutes break every 15 minutes but you can do what works for isha you can read for 20 minutes and go for 10 minutes break it's fine as long as it works for you no problem and during this break you can do anything you want you can listen to music you can go for a walk you can just do anything but don't read and most especially, and most especially do not go on social media <laughs> because by the time you start scrolling and scrolling and scrolling you forget that you are even reading your book so please i advise you go for a walk during this break to to exercise your body step six 
work in daylight Research has shown that reading in daylight makes you less drowsy less sleepy so even if you're reading at night make sure that you have bright stable lights with you so that you will not fall asleep because if the place is not that bright trust me your body system will know that it's nice time and we're supposed to be sleeping and before you know it we start feeling drowsiness and sleepiness so please 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 if you want to eat at night make sure you have bright light in your room to avoid sleepiness all right guys we have come to the end of today's video i hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as i enjoyed filming it please do not forget to like subscribe and comment as usual bye